This video was brought to you in part by the supporters of the AMTV Patreon. Thank you. Hello everybody, it's Adam Martin here and I have a very special unboxing video for you today. As you can see in this box, Priority Mail from the United States Postal Service are some big finish releases and I thought why I'd film this one is because these are a lot of out of print on CD releases, a lot of earlier titles from the main range, specifically these were all main range releases and I just thought it'd be really cool to go through them. So without wasting any time, let's see what I got. Okay, so first up we have 1000 Nights, which is released 168 in the main range. Someone paid $24.95 for this. I mean, it is still sealed, but that, that's pretty pricey, isn't it? This is a Fifth Doctor and Nyssa adventure. Really cool to have this one. This one is still available to buy brand new on CD from the Big Finish website. I guess I'll just say it now for anyone who isn't aware. With the main range, titles from number 1 to 150 are now out of print on CD. The only exception is some titles between 100 and 150 you can still buy on CD. But once those stocks go, they will be gone. So, But these, this one, you can still get. You can also still get uh, this one, The Butcher of Brisbane, release 161. This is a Fifth Doctor, Tegan, Nissa, and Turlo story. I always find it funny how, even though on TV they only had two stories as a trio, that Big Finish have crammed so many adventures with them all. It's great. And look, it's Mr. Sin up there as well. This is by Mark Platt, who obviously wrote the story Ghostlight in the Seventh Doctor's era, which is really cool. Release 161. You can still buy this on CD for new. There's a few of these that I got just because, you know, he was offering them. It was a good deal. I thought I may as well pick them up. But as we get into it, more and more will become out of print CDs. You have release 160, which is the Jupiter Conjunction by Eddie Robson. Again, a Fifth Doctor and I'm going to call them the trio story there. Yeah, release 160. You can still buy this new on the Big Finish website and I'll be really interested to crack off the shrink wrap. I know that's sacrilege, but um, of course, for anyone who isn't aware, when you buy secondhand, you are just getting the CDs. You're not getting the downloads as well. Release 159, the Emerald Tiger, which is another Fifth Doctor trio story. A lot of Fifth Doctor trios, isn't there? But yeah, really, I love the artwork on this one, like the emerald green of the tiger eyes, really nice. Again, there's your cast list, and a lot of this is, I mean, this is a 2012 release and still available to buy on CD from Big Finish. Now you have number 158, you've got We're an Isle, which is a Sixth Doctor and Flip story, played by Lisa Greenwood, who's one of my favourite um, Sixth Doctor audio companions. $25 for this CD originally, whoever paid for it, but it's all nice and sealed, and a nice addition to the collection. You've got release 150, Recorded Time and Other Stories with The Sixth Doctor and Perry. I personally love these anthology releases where it's like four stories in one. Well, bang for your buck as well. And let's see, you get Recorded Time, you get Paradoxide, you get A Most Excellent Match, and you get Question Marks. Cool, awesome. And uh, this one, as it's bang on 150, there might still be some stocks of this on CD on the Big Finish website, but if not, you will have to be going secondhand. Now, I know this one's out of print on CD. This is release 146, Heroes of Sontar. Again, a Fifth Doctor trio story with an older Nyssa uh, featuring the Sontarans, of course. And this was $25 originally from the person who bought it. Sale price, though. Fancy that. But yeah, on, you can't buy this on CD from Big Finish anymore. So you're getting it secondhand. Mine's all nice and sealed, which is cool. And our first out of print uh, title in this unboxing. Next up, we have release 138, which is The Cradle of the Snake. Another Fifth Doctor Trio story. Really cool artwork here. Like this is, that's like poster worthy in my opinion. $25 again. Oh, and it's a Mark Platt. I, I love Mark Platt's writing personally. I love his style. So I'm going to have a ball diving into this when I get there. Yeah, The Cradle of the Snake. You've got release 136, which is Cobwebs, which is another Fifth Doctor Trio story. Yeah, all nice and sick. Look, I love that sort of, this sort of artwork here. I think that's great. This is written by Jonathan Morris. And the reason why I'm not giving much commentary is I haven't listened to these stories yet. I'm going through the main range in chronological order. I essentially listened to the first 50. So, you know, if any of the first 50 titles here appear, then I'll give some commentary. But I'll be looking forward to these when I get there. You've got release 133, City of Spires, which has the Sixth Doctor. 
And Jamie, an older Jamie, this is the first of a trilogy of stories featuring Sixie and Jamie, and thankfully I do own the other two, which is uh, The Wreck of the Titan, I believe, and Legend of the Cybermen, where Zoe also comes back. This one was quite hard to track down secondhand, like when I looked regularly on eBay, like on its own. I didn't pay $25 for it, I got it as part of this really good deal. But it is nice to have it, because the thing with the main range is, you don't have to go in numerical order. Like, there are standalone trilogies, so I might listen to this standalone trilogy um, first, but yeah, really cool to have this as well. And I think this was the first main range release where they started including the reversible booklet. So I can't do it now because it's sealed, but you know, if you open it and flip it, it's got the Six Doctor logo. I could be wrong, but I think it is this one. You've got release 129, which is Plague of the Daleks, featuring the Fifth Doctor and Nyssa. I love me a good Dalek story, and it's always nice to see the Fifth Doctor get another Dalek story too. So yeah, I'll be looking forward to this. Speaking of Daleks, you've got release 121, which is Enemy of the Daleks. Shame the CD case is a little bit battered here, but I mean, CDs, you can replace them. They're a dime a dozen with the cases. $24.95, goodness gracious me. But uh, yeah, a seventh Doctor Dalek story featuring uh, Ace and also Hex, I believe. Yes, Philip Oliver is down there. I love Hex as a companion, actually, going through his arc at the minute. Yeah, really cool. This one is out of print on the Big Finish website on CD, so you're going to have to be turning to the... Good old second-hand market for this one. Getting closer to double digits now. You've got release 104, which is the Bride of Peladon. Got a love of Peladon tale. There's Agatha at the top there, Alpha Centauri, Ice Warriors. Of course, there were two Third Doctor stories set on Peladon, and I can't wait to the fact that we're going back. This has the Fifth Doctor, and it has Perry in it as well. And it's also got Eremem, who's a really interesting companion. If anyone hasn't heard Eremem's adventures, you can start our adventures by listening to the first 50 on... Spotify or the first 50 main range, but yeah, really cool. This is still available, I think, on CD. I don't think they've run out of stocks of this yet. So if you want it new from Big Finish, get it there. Release number 100, which is titled 100, funnily enough. 100, which I think is four different stories. It says by Jacqueline Rayner, Robert Sherman, Joe Lister, and Paul Cornell, which is really cool. Four excellent writers. Someone paid 25 bucks for this. But yeah, if we flip it round, yeah, you've got four different... Or four different parts, is it? It's like... Oh no, you've got 100 BC, My Own Private Wolfgang, Bedtime Story, and 100 Days of the Doctor. Really cool. This, uh, as it says, was the 100th release from the main range, so it's really cool that they marked it in this way with good old Sixie as well. God, I love that. So yeah, really going to look forward to that one. But now, dear viewers, we are descending into double figures and titles that are most definitely out of print on CD from the Big Finish website. So bear in mind, you can only get these now on secondhand websites. And a lot of times they don't come for cheap. People like to charge a bit more for them. I mean, they are rarer, they are out of print on CD now, but make sure you're always getting a good deal. Okay, right, we've got release number 99 now, Son of the Dragon, which is the Fifth Doctor and Perry and Eremem. This is release number 99, which is out of print on CD. You go in second hand for this one. But yeah, really cool to own. We have release number 98, which is Frozen Time with the Seventh Doctor. It doesn't say any of his regular companions, so maybe this one's a bit different. But yeah, really cool to have this one as well. It's written by Nicholas Briggs, who's also the voice of the Daleks, if you didn't know from 2007 all the way back. So yeah, another nice release. Main range number 71, The Council of Nicaea. I think that's how you say it, I'm not sure. But this is a uh, Fifth Doctor story with Perry and Eremem. Looks really cool. Looks like a historical almost, which I, I, I do quite enjoy a good big finish historical. Oh God, I love these old style casings and oh, this just takes me right back. This was a 2005 release. I think this was actually one of the first main range releases I was aware of because it was around the time I started getting Doctor Who magazine back in the day and this was advertised. So yeah, looking forward to give this one a bash. Now we are descending to the first 50. Ooh, I know these have been out of print for ooh, for years, I think. I think since like 2013. So coming across a lot of these was a big find, including this one. Release number 46, it's Flip Flop, which comes in this lovely, uh, you know, big case with the two smaller discs in there. It's a Seventh Doctor and Mel story. And basically, so I have listened to this story via Spotify. And I guess the gimmick is, you know, flip-flop being you can start from one end or the other end of the story. So here's the two ends. You can start from either end, go the either way, and it still makes sense. I wasn't the most enamored with this story. Maybe I wasn't concentrating enough. I don't know. But I'd, I'd give it a chance at least. But it's really nice to own in the collection as well. You know, in its original 
uh, case and sealed as well. So yeah, awesome. Going one down to main range number 45, we have Project Lazarus starring Colin Baker and Sylvester McCoy as two different doctors. I believe there are variant covers, so this one is Colin in the forefront, but I believe there is one where Sylvester is in the forefront as well, or maybe it's the reversible booklet, I'm not too sure, but hey, I have it. This was a really cool story. It is a sequel of sorts to Project Twilight, which is an earlier release, so I'd highly recommend you listen to that first if you get the chance, but this is a phenomenal tale. Oh, there you go, there's the full picture of six and seven there. It's a phenomenal tale. The acting by Colin and Sylvester is brilliant. And I just think it's one of the best, it's it's one of the best stories of the first 50, in my opinion. So if you don't want to fork out for CDs, go and listen to it on Spotify. Next up, we have release number 43, Doctor Who and the Pirates, or the last that lost a sailor. This was a really cool release because for those who don't know, there's quite a lot of singing in this. It's a very musical episode, which sounds odd. And Bill Oddie's in it as well. What more could you ask for? It's definitely not going to be to everyone's taste. I know there will be some people who would listen and despise this. However, if you like musicals, if you're just into a bit of fun when Doctor Who isn't afraid to sort of get really silly and really wacky, then I definitely recommend Doctor Who and the Pirates. Now, I've got release number 41, which is Necromantia. Now, this has quite a reputation for being very grotesque, being very deranged, if that's the word, being very like you basically and it is very out there especially for well not just a doctor who story a fifth doctor story one of the more like innocent doctors it's the fifth doctor perry and eremem and yeah there's a lot of dark moments in this i'm not gonna say any of them here but i mean it's on spotify listen to it if you want but i, I know it turns a lot of people off listening to this and i didn't think it was that bad necessarily but um i can see why a lot of people don't like this one so maybe go into this one with a bit of caution Release number 39 now with Bang Bang A Boom, which is basically Doctor Who does Eurovision. So it's right up my alley because I'm a big Eurovision fan. I mean, look, it's even got almost like the stars of Europe around the two of them, the seventh Doctor and Mel. There's lots of uh, guest stars in it as well. Again, this is just a really fun one. Not as silly as Doctor Who and the Pirates, I would say, but it's not afraid to sort of push the boundaries into being a little bit different, a little bit weird, which I think it can be Doctor Who Big Finish at its best. There's also a lot of references to quarks here, even though they're not in the story. So yeah, if you like a bit of camp, if you like a bit of cheese, then I think you will also really enjoy Bang Bang A Boom. Now we've got release number 23. It is Project Twilight. This is the one I mentioned earlier when we talked about Project Lazarus. This is like the first part in what can be like a long old story that, you know, look, look it up on online to find out which ones to view but honestly this is actually a really good sixth doctor big finish it's the sixth doctor and uh, evelyn Smythe, who's brilliantly played by maggie stables and this is just a really thrilling plot i mean the conceit is about vampires and i've never been much of a vampire guy usually but actually i really really enjoyed this story there's a lot of great moments uh, a lot of great moments for the sixth doctor as well so if you like sixy and you want to see some cracking vampire action i'd highly recommend project twilight Release number 21 now, we've got Dust Breeding, which is the Seventh Doctor and Ace. Yeah, this one was this one was alright. I, I feel I need to give this one another listen. I do enjoy a lot of Seventh Doctor and Ace tales because I just think they've got a really good dynamic. But to me, just in my opinion, I don't think this one stands out as much as, say, early releases like the Fearmonger or Cold It's. But it's still very good in its own right. So if you like Seven and Ace, I think you'll like Dust Breeding. Right, we're coming down to the final few now. And these are really, you know... These go, they're getting higher on eBay, I swear, so I got a really good deal. We've got release number 12, The Fires of Vulcan, which is the seventh Doctor and Mel. And, and basically the premise is they go back to Pompeii. Yes, that Pompeii and when the volcano goes off. So does it contradict with The Fires of Pompeii, the 10th Doctor TV story? A little bit. But I mean, this was made a good eight years before then, so we can let it slide. And it's actually a very good seventh Doctor and Mel story. And this just takes me back, you know, in big finish uh, boxes were like this plain color backgrounds no pictures and when the photos here were either photos they could like stock photos they had to manipulate in such a way it's it's such a different time looking at these these old covers but i'm glad they're still there you know i'm glad they never really updated them for like re-releases or whatever so yeah i actually really recommend the fires of vulcan going into single digits we've got release number nine the spectre of Lanyon Moor, which is a six doctor story with Evelyn Smythe, but also the Brigadier, as you can see on the bottom left, as they never really got a TV encounter, unless you count Dimensions in Time, which you absolutely should. And um, yeah, it's just, it's a cracking story. A lot, some people don't like it, but I think for, for six, uh, the Brig and Evelyn, 
it's actually a really nice story for them all to team up. And I'm glad it's Evelyn as well. I really love her dynamic as a companion with the Sixth Doctor. I think it's really great. So, yeah, another winner for Sixie. Speaking of Sixie, we've got release number six, which is the Marion Conspiracy. Yeah, I know, going way back. This was $25 when someone bought it, but... <laughs> Yeah, this is the first story to introduce Evelyn Smythe as a companion really early on in the main range. I mean, this is a release from, I think, 2000. There's that old cover again. Yeah, copyright 2000, man. Over 20 years ago, they were doing this. And I mean, yes, the cover's a bit basic. You know, it's a stock photo of Six and the fire. But hey, they had to work with what they got. But The Marion Conspiracy is a great introductory story for Evelyn. It's a great sort of rewriting of Six's character for, for the better, better than what he got on TV, I think. So this is absolutely quintessential main range listening if you want to get into it. And it is available on Spotify, don't worry, if you don't want to fork out for the CD. But yeah, very lucky to have it because I'm seeing prices, especially for the first 50 titles, going up and up and up. We have release number five, The Fearmonger, with the Seventh Doctor and Ace. I mentioned this one earlier. A really wonderful story, this one. I mean, it's it's classic Seven and Ace. You can see this being a TV story if, you know, if they ever decided to, to make it into one. It's just a, a lot of good fun. Very tense, very action-packed. Big recommend. Maybe not the best Seven and Ace, but this is early days. This was 2000, man. But yeah, cracking start. And last but not least, we have release number three, Doctor Who and the Whispers of Terror with the Sixth Doctor and Perry. And of course, you know, it had to be Perry to be the first Sixy story. I, I prefer, at the minute anyway, from what I've heard, I prefer the Six and Evelyn stuff. But it is nice that the first release was with his most iconic companion on TV. And this is actually a bit older. This came out in 1999. The last millennium, would you believe? I did listen to this one on Spotify. I actually wasn't too enamored with it compared to, say, some of the others of the, fir the first 15. But, um, you know, it's still nice to have. It fills the gap in the collection, and I, I still recommend that you listen to it, but I personally think the Big Finish stuff in the early days with Six and Evelyn was better than what was going on with Six and Perry. And that, dear viewers, was everything I got in my Big Finish haul recently. So I believe that was 29 titles, and I mean... If you can get hauls like that, it's not necessarily the, the cheapest way in the short term, but in the long term, I believe you save so much money. I mean, as I said, a lot of these titles now are out of print on CD from Big Finish directly, so the only way you're going to get them now on CD is to buy them secondhand. And particularly with titles from, I'd say, ooh, yeah, particularly the first 50 of the number range, like the Marion Conspiracy here or a lot of the ones I showed you, they are becoming more expensive on eBay. I'd say, on average, a lot of the times I see for those ones in particular, um, I mean, at least, well, if you're very lucky, like at least £15, if not more than that. Uh, my advice, and my advice always when you're buying lots on Big Finish or like you want to buy bundles, always try and offer first. Always say, hey, are you willing to do me an offer on these? If so, you know, and shoot, shoot what you want to shoot to them. And just try and negotiate because I've managed to acquire so many good deals for Big Finish titles simply by negotiating with people or making offers. And you'd be surprised how many of them do just want, you know, to get rid of the CDs. They just want the, the money in regardless of what it is. So, yeah, just, just barter with people. I mean, that's how I got this lot for for, for what I did. You know, I, I think I've saved at least... I think I did a rough calculation of all of these titles, you know, like what they go for on averages on eBay and stuff. And I think I've saved easily, like, at least 100, if not 150 pounds in this lot I got here. And it's filled in many gaps in my main range collection, and particularly the early days as well. Still got some missing ones, you know, the expensive ones, like, you know, your Chimes of Midnight, your Storm Warning, your Spare Parts and all that. But hey, I'll get those one day. But I hope you've enjoyed this Big Finish unboxing. If you did, please remember to leave a like on the video. It really helps out as well. And let me know, leave those comments because they help too. But let me know, do you have these releases or any of these releases you were after? Are you still looking? You know, have you only got a few gaps left in your main range collection? Let me know in that comments. Please subscribe to the channel as well if you're brand new. We've got more Doctor Who content coming to you soon. And until the next one, I will see you all next time.